Hello and welcome back to this channel. I'm back in the Netherlands, currently in Gouda. I came here from Amsterdam, where I'm staying at the moment. Gouda is a perfect day trip from Amsterdam, but also from Utrecht, Rotterdam or The Hague. The city is conveniently located in the center of the country. Today the clouds are out, so it's not the very best weather, but I'll tell you it's a lot better than the weather we had the past few days. I'm starting my visit off in Eisendorn Park, a nice park a bit outside of the city center to relax and go for a walk. And then I'll head to the city center where I'll explore all that Gouda has to offer. And of course, I'll take you along. Girl, I'll give you my life. You know I could not lie. God gave me a wife and a daughter that's mine. Blessed I am. You know that's right. Here is I am. I'm now in the very center of Gouda at Market Square, where every first day from 10:30 until 12:30 in the morning during spring, so between April and until September, they have the cheese market. At the time of recording, it's February, so the cheese market with the traditional weighings of the cheese is not taking place unfortunately but there's a normal market to enjoy and they still sell lots of cheese so very cool place to come to and start your day in Gouda the focal point of the market square beside the market in Gouda is its city hall it's built in the gothic style and it's actually one of the oldest city halls in the country it was built in 1424 it looks really cool and there are also bells in front of the building that ring every hour. All right, I'm now having a look around the St. Jan Church. In English, you would say St. John's Church and also the monastery of Gouda. Uh, the St. John's Church is mainly famous for its painted glass windows and they look absolutely beautiful from pictures. So I was actually planning to head inside and check them out. You can't really see them from the outside, uh, but the entry is about 10 euros, which I find is a bit much to enter a church. Maybe it's worth it for you. Consider it for yourself. Uh, they look beautiful from pictures. visiting a city for the first time I like to see the monuments but my favorite thing to do is just to have a walk around and see some of the lesser known spots in the city I've just come across this tiny street and I saw a sign that told me about the history of this place in the 18th century this whole street was famous for the production of cloth and it seems like they are really proud of that history here they're pictures around of the families that were involved in that business and I love to hear about these random facts and learn more about a place. We're also really close to one of the city's windmills and it's still in operation. I'm now standing uh, next to the canals in Gouda. Trade is still a big thing via water in the Netherlands uh, but in the past it used to be even more important of course. I'm also standing in front of the Red Lion Windmill, which is a great example of a still working min windmill. It's not producing grain anymore, but it's on display for everybody to see. And I think on a nicer day, the wheels are even turning around. It has now started to rain hard. So I'm trying to head inside and check out one of the museums they have in Gouda.
there are several museums you can visit in Gouda. There's the Museum of Gouda, which mainly displays pottery that has been crafted in Gouda. Uh, Gouda is famous for pottery, but also for production of candles and clay pipes. Most importantly though, something I haven't stressed enough yet, it's famous for the Gouda cheese. Gouda cheese is known worldwide, but uh, only Gouda Holland is Gouda cheese actually produced in this region here. It has become so famous because the grass conditions around this area is perfect for cows and it just gives the nice taste to the cheese Gouda. Uh, right next to the market square there is a museum called the Weighing Museum where they uh, have many uh, information about how they weighed the cheese but also about pottery and about cheese in general. You can book a tour here, it's about 6 euros 50 so fairly cheap and they will show you around the museum and you can also have a look around yourself. This road is so tough, place my feet in the sand I carry you all, blessed I am. Alright, that's it from the self proclaimed cheese capital of the world. I had a great day in Gouda. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't the best, but I spent uh, a good hour in the cheese museum there next to the market square. Definitely recommend the visit. It's in a great location, easy to reach from everywhere in the center of the country. It might even be a good place to stay at for a week if you're looking to explore the Netherlands. As I said, you can reach Amsterdam, The Hague, Rotterdam, Delft, many places very easily from Gouda. And I guess it would also be a bit cheaper to stay here than in Amsterdam. Thank you very much for following along today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, you know that's right, Kennedy darling, you just know I love you. To the ends of the earth, your heart I pursue. Blessed I am, you know that's right. God made you like daddy.